Hey there guys, this is Darwin with another review and uh, this we have here is Goose Island's Jillian. This is Saison, uh, brewed with strawberries and white pepper um, and they use Brettanomyces in here. Actually no soured um, bacteria, I believe, just Brettanomyces for the funk kind of character. Uh, this is last year's vintage. I believe they're actually only releasing Nidum Rose this year. Uh, I spoke to some of the Goose Island people and um, next year is when uh, some of the sisters will be coming out because they're still in the battle and they wanted to give a little bit more time for those other beers to be in uh, the barrel, including this one, I believe. So this one should be coming out next year. Um, so after about uh, reviewing this beer, I'll actually be also talking about this awesome Goose Island uh, migration event that I went to that where I drank like a ton of King Henry. Um, you know, if you want to hear about like beer events and all that kind of cool stuff, I have a little bit of a, a speech after that. But let's dig into this beer right now. Uh, let's go. So this is, oh, by the way, this is another first impression review. So, you know, this is just completely spot on. I just wanted to not waste time and I just cracked the, the, the cap, but this is um, the fir my first sip of it. So, so again, so the beer comes in a nice kind of um, uh, carbonated Saison kind of look, gold and yellow. Let's get the aroma on this. Ooh, definitely smell the funk. Whoa. Yeah, that's, um, it's tart. So maybe this is soured, huh? I definitely smell a lot of lemony tartness. Maybe I was wrong that there's not um, sour bacteria in here. There's definitely bread though. A lot of this kind of like barnyardy, almost like a stinky kind of uh, fun character. A lot of like, yeah, again, that lemony tartness, just pure lemon juice. A little bit of like um, apricotty kind of sweetness. I, I get a little bit of that kind of um, sweet kind of uh, uh, strawberry action, like the underlying sweetness of it, but it's really just really tart and really funk. Yeah, cheers. Mm. This is actually better than the first time I had it last year. In the front, it's again that kind of attack of like really sour. Oh man, it's really bitingly, almost like um, lemons, but also a little bit like a warhead. So it's like candied uh, sourness that it's just so tart that doesn't really even taste like fruit anymore. A lot of that, and it digs onto the sides. I maybe get a little bit of strawberry, not really. Um, I do get a touch of that white pepper on the back end. It dries out the beer very nicely. Um, it's not abrasive, sort of like a uh, black pepper where it's sort of like uh, more biting. This is more light and almost like a more, yeah, more like light kind of uh, spiciness. A lot of this kind of um, peach or apricot kind of flavor, these like fruity notes, maybe that some of that malt is in there too. Um, yeah, it's pretty good stuff. As I drink it more, I notice um, more of that funk. Uh, that funk is really um, hitting the mid palate and really driving the beer mostly, uh, along with that tart quality. Not too much fruit character. Um, nice kind of like uh, spiciness on the back end. For me, it's a bit uh, all over the place. Uh, I wish it was slightly more harmonious. The carbonation is a bit too aggressive on this too, uh, but it's still very good beer, obviously. Um, I actually do like it more than the first time I had it. Um, nice and tart, funky. Um, good stuff. Uh, what should I give this? Hmm. I'm going to give this a 92. Um, actually, no, 91. Um, I think uh, I actually prefer Lolita and uh, Halia. Uh, Madame Rosa I haven't had in a while, but this is still very good stuff. You can still find it on the shelf. I highly recommend it. Yeah, there you go. Uh, not much strawberry. Wow. Anyway, so I want to talk about Goose Island Migration. So basically, Goose Island Migration is an event that uh, Goose Island and their employees sort of travel around the country and um, they uh, just, I guess, want to meet like, you know, the people that are uh, enjoying uh, Goose Island. So um, you have marketing people and brewers who go to certain bars and they bring like these rare bottles that you would never otherwise be able to try. Stuff like King Henry, uh, Backyard Rye, Vanilla, Proprietors. Um, uh, King Henry, if you don't know, is like a, 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 bar, a burn barrel aged barley wine that Goose Island did like three, four years ago. On my beer cellar, it's like $150 a bottle. Um, they just brought all this beer and it's all free at the bar. Um, yeah, I, I, I mean, I, 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 had a little, yeah, I don't know if I have any shame, but I was ordering a lot of King Henry and I probably drank almost a bottle to myself of uh, King Henry because, I mean, it was free. It's such a good beer. It was really nice meeting the people at the events. I actually met uh, Brian. I'll link you guys to the, to the video on the bottom, but Brian is actually their head uh, barrel master and uh, got to talk to him about you know some of these beers. I actually got to talk to him about specifically this beer and Halia. Um, really cool meeting brewers. I personally geek out and love meeting people um, that are from the breweries that I enjoy. 
Uh, so that was awesome. Um, talking to him about Bourbon County, talking to him about, you know, beers that he likes to drink. He actually really likes sours, so I guess that's why they have a great souring system um, of beers. And um, so, yeah, it was just really fun. To me, some of the best beer experiences I've had are um, going to sort of just events where you get to meet people from the breweries. Uh, you get to meet maybe the bar owner. You get to obviously meet uh, random people that are just enjoying beer, beer there. Other craft beer geeks, you get to meet those people. And, uh, you know, I've made friends uh, at these events. I bring my friends there to sort of uh, share, you know, my love for craft beer with them. Um, it's just really fun. So obviously for me in New York City, there's a lot of, you know, crazy and uh, w w wide option of events. But uh, definitely try to look out uh, if, you know, event comes to a city near you. Uh, craft beer is not only about the beer, but also about the incredible people that you get to meet. Um, this community just absolutely has, you know, really nice people, really generous people, really, you know, easy to talk to people. It's great to geek out with them about beer. And um, yeah, don't only treat craft beer as something about just the beer. It's very much about the people that are involved. And um, yeah, so highly recommend going to an event near you. And uh, this is Goose Island's Jillian. Until next time, guys. Cheers. Later.